Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for December 26th. Today's devotion is titled The Big Shuffle, and the Bible reading is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 10. But God is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness toward us, as shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. In The Call of Service, author Robert Coles, exploring our reasons for serving, tells the moving story of an older woman's service to others. As a bus driver, she showed great care toward the children she drove to school each day, quizzing them on homework and celebrating their successes. I want to see these kids make it in life, she said of her motivation. But there was another reason too. As a youth, the words of an aunt she had, had shaken this woman to the core. She'd tell us that we had to do something God would notice, or else we'd get lost in the big shuffle. Worried at the prospect of hell af after the big shuffle of judgment, this woman had devised ways to get God's attention. Going to church so he'd see me being loyal and working hard to serve others so God might hear from others what I was doing. I grieved reading her words. How had this dear woman never known that she already had God's attention? <coughs> How had she not heard that Jesus took care of the big shuffle for us, offering freedom from judgment forever? How had she missed that salvation can't be bought with good deeds, but is a gift to anyone who believes. Christ's life, death, and resurrection take care of our future with God and set us free to serve others with joy. Why is it easy to mistakenly believe you must do good things to be accepted by God? How does understanding the gospel help you to love others better? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.